In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to create custom shapes and custom icons within PowerPoint without any unnecessary text and informations. Just pure graphic design and slight beauty. Let us start right away. At first, we will need an icon. You have two options here. You either can use some websites with icons and you can download a ready icon like Site Icon or Icon Finder. You can find plenty of icons here by inserting people or person in the search box or you can create the icon by yourself. Let's do this in PowerPoint. It will be really simple. I'll create my icon and I'll need only two shapes for that. The first shape I want to use is called short and it's available here in the basic shapes. So let's make it here. I'll hold my shift key and of course we need to rotate it a little bit. It will be rotated. Let's use this line as a guide. Okay, maybe this one is a bit too big. So I make it smaller like this. I rotate it around until I have it even here. I go a few pixels down. Let's preview it. This is okay. Okay, it should be a bit more to the left side and I'm ready. I'll now use my shape fill and select the color I want for my icon. Let's say I will go with something gray and shape outline, no outline. This is the basis for our icon. Obviously, the next thing will be adding the head. I'll add the head by going to insert, shapes, and inserting a simple oval. Once again, the shift key, make it to a proper size as you see fit. And if you don't want to waste time on adjusting this icon, just click on that one, go to home, format painter, and paint the format and it will gain the same format. Okay, I'll now delete everything I have here because I don't need those things in this moment. Let me place the head right, select both icons, group, group, and our person icon is ready. What I want to do now is make it smaller, once again with the shift key, so it remains in equal proportions, and now I can populate this slide. And let me show you a few tricks which you can utilize here. I want many of those people here and here. I want an entire audience. So I'll select this icon, I press Ctrl V, and I place this icon exactly in the same line. With my Shift key, I'll go down bottom, and now I don't have to care about anything else. Let's say this is the space I want to have here, this is the space I want to have here. Now copy it to fill out this space about five times. Ctrl V, Ctrl V, Ctrl V, Ctrl V, Ctrl V. I don't have to be precise. Why is that? because I'll select the Align option. Now select all icons, go to Format, and we'll use our Align options under Arrange. I'll hit Align, and remember, it has to be Align Selected Objects, not Align to Slide, because if it will Align to Slide, it will use the entire slide. I want it to Align to Objects, and when this option is selected, it will Align to the first and last object. This is why those were perfectly placed and those are chaotic around the screen. Now I'll distribute them vertically. They are distributed and I'll also align them center. So they are aligned. Okay, I see I hit the right amount of faces. Let me maybe make one more just to see if one more would fit here. Align, distribute, align, center. Okay, it's, it's really, really close. So let me go a bit up just to make a few spaces more. Last time, distribute vertically. Now the icons are ready and I can simply Ctrl C, Ctrl V and place them on the right side. Ctrl V and place them here and PowerPoint will help me with the placement. Ctrl V once again and place it here. Now, once you see that you have perfect spaces and everything is perfect, Let's say this is now okay. I see I have a few pixels mistaken here, but it doesn't have to be super equal. It just needs to look very, very good. So I'll select in bulk all those faces, Control V and place them on the right side. Now this looks really, really good to me. I have equal spaces around here. The proximity and the visual hierarchy is really okay because I have still some place here for the viewer and I have an audience ready. If you feel it's not enough, you can always copy a few more and place them here. This will really all depend on you, but I'll delete them because I don't want to have so much faces. Our last adjustment 
we'll be placing some informations here. Go to insert and of course insert text boxes. I want a few text boxes. Lorem if some dummy text here. I want two times text, control V two times text and two times big information. So I'll, this will be big information and this will be big information. Let's for example say 2000 plus in this space and here I'll go like over 99%. Now I need to select some colors and fonts. Let me select a font. I'll select Open Sans here. For the bigger text, I'll go to the Open Sans font and I'll select Extra Bold or Semi Bold. Let's select Extra Bold and make them extra bold. So I'll make them really big. I see this over doesn't fit here. So I'll go with this because I want this information to be really, really strong. I want this to be big. Sorry, the box needs to be bigger and this percentage even bigger. All right, now I could work with the color. For this, I'll just imagine and select a custom color like a green one and here, for example, a blue one. This will be a great distinguishing between both informations. A really strong blue, a really bright one like this. And all right, this is the basic information. Now I could also work with the icons. Let's say I will select this. I'll go to format, shape fill, because text fill was on the text, shape fill the same blue color, which is selected here. And I could, for example, select a line, place a line here, go to insert shapes and also select a little circle and make a little circle here. Just so it'll be an information that this information goes from this person. No outline, shape fill. I'll group them. I see this is too big, but also this line could be bigger. Shape outline, weight, a bigger weight. Shape outline, this blue color. You see this as well, don't you? I, I also think this is too big. Let's make it smaller with the shift key. Boom. This information goes from this person. Let's group this. This information goes here. I'm sorry, a little mistake. Control G, this information will go here. We can even select portions of this audience, portions of this audience here. Shape fill. Let's make it green. Just so you see, this is an infographic. So 99% of something does something. And if I would present this, it would look really cool to the viewer. It doesn't have to be uh, one line from each person. You are making an infographic, an informational slide. So you only want to operate on visuals. You apply no text here. You only explain, talk. So let's make this nice by making this green. Also this little line, make it green. And I believe we have enough information here. This should be moved here. This should be moved here. And let's see now this slide. This entire slide looks really, really cool. And this is how you can make simple infographic slides representing your audience and some statistics you want to explain about it. I really hope you did learn something new in PowerPoint and enjoy this tutorial. Thanks for listening and see you in the next one.